Hey guys, welcome back again. In this week's quick tip, I want to show you a location where you can pick up a lot of uh, smallmouth bass really quick. It's very close to roads. So what you need to do, I would recommend go ahead and spawn into another location uh, that's farther away, you know, New Austin, something like that. Fast travel over to roads. Once you're in roads, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up on the map and I'm gonna show you where we're gonna be heading to. So we're gonna head over to the area right now. As you go, don't bother going on roads and stuff. It actually will slow you down. So just come through these trees and just kind of navigate through them. If you have trouble hitting trees, you're not really good at getting through the woods. If as you're going, you just take your thumb off the left joystick every once in a while, the horse will actually just automatically kind of just move around the trees. You won't slam into them. But this is really quick. It takes literally about maybe 30 seconds to get over here. And we are here. As you can see right now, if you want to, you could go ahead and knock out this gang hideout. Uh, but at the same time, you don't have to. So basically what we're going to do is come over here. It's right on the edge of the gang hideout. And this is where we're going to be fishing for smallmouth bass. So go ahead and pull out your fishing pole. And right here, you can see there's a bunch of them right here near the shore. There's about four or five just right here. So let's try to grab those guys real quick. And pull out the bait. Now, they don't always spawn this close. Probably maybe every three or four times they'll be right here in this little cove. But majority of the time, I think they get over here if there's a gang hideout. But if they're not here, they're going to be right in front on the left, right hand side. And you can get them just as quick. You know, they still stay close to the shore. And these are, I think they're $2. I always get it mixed up with the other bass. But I think these are $2 a piece. So now like right here, if I wanted to, I could actually just use the gun and scare them on the shore. But um, I'm just going to fish them out. Because if I shoot, I'm probably going to activate that gang hideout behind me. And I don't want to mess with that right now. And just pull these guys in. It's a matter of a few seconds and we'll have these fish. It's pretty easy. It only takes a few minutes to do this. Let's see where they're moving around to. Yeah, they're still right here. And you could keep just grinding this location out. Um, you know, if you want to kind of get other fish, I would recommend go ahead and knock the gang hide out of the way. I mean, you get a little bit of, um, you know, XP and stuff for it, so it's worth doing. Honestly, too, just to get them out of the way, I'd probably go ahead and do it. But just for this video, I don't want to waste your time with me now I'm clearing out a gang hideout. Mainly just wanting to show you this location for smallmouth bass. And they, they'll just keep spawning in until you get the uh, maximum that you can actually carry with you. Let's see, they've got one more right here. There'll be more to my right-hand side. I'm just kind of just getting these guys here because they're so close. That was a horrible cast. Let me try again. There we go. He should come to that. Where is he at? He's just randomly over there hanging out by a rock. <laughs> here he comes. see got him and when it's this close to the shore I don't even kind of let them fight I just pull them right in because they won't break your line this close up so let me see see as you can see there are more of them spawning farther out there so I mean you, you could get you could get them all right here easy there's like three or four straight ahead out there and the water is real shallow here, so you can pull them in quick. And usually, too, to my right, I was hoping to be able to show you guys, but it's not here right now because of the gang hideout. There's usually two to three pelicans on my right-hand side when I come across. And as I got closer, I could already see there was a gang hideout. So usually I'd come through a little slower so I don't scare them away. So... When you come over here, just be looking for that, you know, whether or not the gang hideout is actually popping up on the map. And if it is, you know, come on over where I'm at like I just did. Don't bother with um, kind of um, slowly coming across the hill. Um, but if it's not, uh, don't come, you know, come running over here crazy with your horse because you'll scare off the pelican. Sometimes there's herons and stuff that'll pop up there as well, too. So, And I'll go ahead and pull up on the map as I'm heading over here to the butcher on another location. A lot of people know about it. 
but I figured I'd go ahead and just pull it up anyway because I'm sure people will mention it. I'm just saying this is another location you can head to along top of this one. And this is the place on the map for the spawn location of the smallmouth bass. Like I said, I know a lot of people know about it, but I'm sure people would mention it anyway. And at the same time, I'll put the link at the top right of the video on the method that you can do here. So we're back at the butcher right now. So like I said, it's just kind of, he keeps jumping on the table. Uh, he did it again. It's driving me crazy. Um, so we'll go ahead and sell them real quick. And it's kind of just, you know, common knowledge of what they cost. But just want to show you what we ended up getting. Sorry, there we got 10 of them. So it was a quick $20. So anyway, I hope this video helped you guys out, especially the two different options to get smallmouth bass. If it did, I'd appreciate it if you liked the video, share it with your friends. Also too, subscribe, click notification bell. So anytime I have videos come out, you get updated right away. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next video.